foul creature. It's not alone here. And what we found on it was what Brentlier Smith likes to call an arachnid. I'm not sure um, if he does that um, sort of humorously or if that's really how he pronounces the word, arachnid. But there is an arachnid or arachnid for the rest of us. And it's just over there. Can you see it there? It's a little mite moving along the leg of the millipede. Now, we know that these sorts of mites have a hugely important role to play in the navigation systems of dung beetles, for example. Many mites, of course, are just parasitic. You've got them all over your body, believe it or not, from time to time. And they will eat your skin and suck out your juices and that sort of disgusting thing. But uh, on the millipede, I don't know. Is it being a parasite or is it perhaps some sort of navigational uh, um, symbiosis? I don't know. But isn't that quite cool? It's tiny. I can't actually see it with the naked eye at all. I'm probably looking in the wrong place, but there it is. It's probably about a tenth of a millimeter wide. So if you work in the met in the imperial system, I'm afraid there is no measure small enough to describe how small this little mite is. Now just imagine, this is an adult mite, right? A tenth of a millimeter wide. You can see his little feelers there. You can see his legs. He's got eight legs. He's an arachnid. And each leg is minute. Each segment of each leg is even more minute than that. And the little hairs on the segments of each leg are even more minute than that. So by the time we get down to the size of the hairs on their legs, I mean, we're down to sort of hundredths of millimeters. Now that's not more than a few cells in size. 